My name is Rene Ricard, and I'm an alcoholic. I'd like to read a poem about the recent roommate disturbances at Brandeis University. But since I haven't written a poem about that, I'll read something from my new book. Uh, it's my new book. It was uh, totally handmade by Rita Barros, who's over here, who has copies, like two or three, if you want to buy one or two. In Daddy's Hand. In Daddy's Hand, the swing connects the leather to your underpants that separate your father's belt from your pink skin. And though the cotton's clean and white, it's also very thin. And the pain gets in, gets in, gets in. They say you don't remember pain, but that's not true. Just propaganda from a sadist to his kid, because hurt it did. Have I forgotten it? Like hell I did. It hurts again. And again, it's hurting still. There are molestations that hurt more than the sexual. The fear to enter rooms he may be in. A coffee mug without warning or reason flying straight at you. You're only six and don't know what's happening. But then he'll tell you why. Why? Because you look scared. Now here's a reason to. These strikes and spares do not occur sporadically. They're constant, and the neighbors, your cousins, can't believe you're growing up. Since he killed his first wife, Sugar, and he'll kill at least one other man that I know of. Why I'm alive is more than just a mystery. Chance survival is the term in archaeology. The context vanishes, but there's some little thing, not enough to form a theory, like, say, a signature on a plinth, but not the piece itself. Now, I don't know if anyone here has had the same experience I've had, but occasionally a song, a really tacky, popular song will enter my mind, and I just can't get rid of it. So what I do when that happens is I write a poem using the meter of the song. So I'd like to read you a poem I wrote when a song got stuck in my mind and I couldn't get rid of it. I wrote this. In daddy's hand, the swing connects the leather to your underpants that separate your father's belt from your pink skin. And though the cotton's clean and white, it's also very thin. And the pain gets in, gets in, gets in. They say you don't remember pain, but that's not true. Just propaganda from a sadist to his kid. Because heard it did. Have I forgotten it? Like hell I did. It hurts again and again. It's hurting still. There are molestations that hurt more than the sexual. The fear to enter rooms he may be in. A coffee mug without warning or flying straight at you. You're only six. You don't know what's happening, and then he'll tell you why. Because you look scared, and here's the reason, too. These strikes and spares do not occur sporadically. They're constant, and the neighbors can't believe you're growing up. She thinks he killed his sugar, and he'll kill at least one other man that I know of. Why I'm alive is more than just a mystery. Chance survival is the term in archaeology. The context vanishes, but there's some little thing, not enough to form a theory, like, say, a signature on a plinth, but not the piece itself. Thank you.
Um, uh, a friend of mine is going to read her poems now. Uh, her name is Stella Schnabel. She's an old friend of mine. She's been writing a long time. And I think this is her first public reading. So if she's not averse to facing all of you terribly unfriendly looking people, please, Stella, could you read? 